From the weird to the wacky to the incredibly useful, you know you can find absolutely everything online. So when you get bored of clicking on this same handful of sites, I put together this ridiculously useful website list, which you're probably not using, but definitely should. Have you ever needed to register for something online and you just know, you know you're gonna get loads and loads of spam? Well, instead of using your email address, what you can use is something called a disposable email address. This is an email address that's only valid for about 10 minutes, which is just perfect, just long enough to get your download, get your link. I like this website. It's called 10minuteemail.com. As you load up the site, it automatically creates an email address and lets you use it for 10 minutes. And then the countdown begins. If you need to extend the time, simply click on the refresh button and the counter starts again. Now, let the counter get down to zero and that email address is no longer valid. So, use that email, register on whatever site it is, you will then get an email sent to this address and it appears below. Click on that email, you can read it, you can click on any links that's in there, and 10 minutes later, that email is no longer valid. Saving your inbox and your sanity. And speaking of saving your sanity, there are a few things more irritating than having to call a company's call center. But sometimes you just have no choice. Their website sucks and isn't helping you. You just want to speak to a human being for some help. The problem is when you call these companies, you have to navigate through a million options before you can speak to a person. Press one for this, press two for that. Uh, this is why I love this website. It's called gethuman.com. You simply type in the name of the company, select the right one from the list, and it gives you the customer service number, but check this out, it also gives you the average call time right now. What you wanna focus on is on this section, which says, get to a live person fastest. It will tell you what to say or what to press to get to a human being as quickly as possible. They also have some other helpful tips, like when you call specific call center, it will tell you what to say and when to say it to get the help that you need. Now, we're used to the fact that hotels and flights vary in pricing based on season. So, vacationing over Christmas and New Year's are going to cost you much more than vacationing at some midweek random time of the year. But did you know that the same thing happens with products? Prices go up, prices come down, it's like the stock market all over the place. This is where CamelCamelCamel.com comes in. On this website, you keep an eye and track prices on items on Amazon. Simply search for a specific product you want, then you watch its price over time. You can see the current price, the highest price, the lowest price, and the average price. Okay, hold on, this is still too expensive, no problem. Enter your email address, set the price that you want, and if it drops to that, you will be alerted. Great, great way to pick up some awesome bargains. Well, since we've been basically stuck at home for over a year, we've pretty much watched absolutely everything there is to watch on streaming services. So now when it's movie night, well, there's a lot more endless scrolling trying to find a good movie than actual watching of the movie. Well, look no further if this is you. This website is called agoodmovietowatch.com. Great name. You can choose random to see what the site would recommend and leave it up to chance to take care of you, or select the very best, which I assume is a kind of top rated shows based on ratings, so it gives you that list. You can also choose recommendation by categories and moods, and no matter what you click on, you'll get a selection of shows. Each show will have a service provider that actually streaming that show and has a bit of information like the trailer, description, rating from IMDB, Rotten Tomatoes and Wikipedia. Okay, next up, this is pretty darn useful. You sometimes have a file on your computer that you cannot open. You cannot open because you don't have the software for it. So this is where cloudconvert.com comes in. The site converts files from one format to another. So let's just say you get a PDF that you want to edit, but you just don't have the right software to edit it. No problem. Upload the files to this website, let it do its thing, and voila, you now have a Word document <coughs> that you can edit. I will note here that you are uploading documents and files onto a site that you have no idea or what their privacy policy is. So basically, don't upload anything confidential or anything that you wouldn't be comfortable shared online. You know, uh, just in case. Now, since we buy a lot of stuff and each item comes with its own 100 page manual in every conceivable language, we tend to keep these manuals for a while and then you know, just in case. Then when we do a cleanup, typically we throw them out. What happens next? Of course, something goes wrong, you now need a specific random piece of information that's only available in that manual. So what do you do? 
Well, you go to manuallibs.com, which is an online library of manuals. Type in the brand and model number, and the manual that you need was just there for you to read or to download. Cyber hacks and data leaks are in the news far too often these days. Big corporations are getting hacked, and our info is landing up on the dark web for sale. So, how do you know if your specific info has been leaked? Well, you simply go to the website haveibeenpawned.com. Spell that correctly or you'll end up where you shouldn't. Now, just enter your email address and hope you don't see this message. If you do, then your info has been leaked online and you should be changing your password ASAP. You should be changing your password regularly anyway. Don't forget to check other emails of your family members as well, just in case. This is a great website, looks for the information on the dark web and identifies whether you're part of those leaks. This website is absolutely critical. So let me know what you think in the comments. We've been speaking a lot about security here, so check out this VPN video right over here. Also check out this video down below which YouTube thinks you should watch and I'll see you in these videos. Let's go.